are going to enjoy it once they get slime and algae on them. <laughs> they get all boogered up, those fish are just going to swim into them like crazy. <laughs> I just started researching and as I started researching I came across fishhiding.com and started um, there's a ton of information on their site so I just started reading about it I started watching the videos that they have looking at the YouTube videos and the story that David was telling really made sense to me about trying to create a habitat that looked as much like a natural habitat um, as as possible and how bringing varying types of structures in to imitate what a, a normal habitat would look like underneath water made sense that that's how you would bring in and retain fish um, in the area. So I had called David with the intention originally of just purchasing a couple of pieces um, that I had seen online uh, for that they had on their, their website and then he and I began to talk about what our whole ecosystem looked like here. We have almost 800 feet of shoreline, so we have a lot of area. So uh, he started to talk about some things that at the time they were just starting to apply for some patents for. Um, as I said earlier, one of the problems that we have is keeping things so that it'll stay put because there's um, it's pretty rough area here. So he was really excited about these these new structures that they were building, pads that would stay in a lake environment without floating away. And kind of one thing in multiple conversations and emails and trades of diagrams led to another. And we ultimately decided that we wanted to make a really big investment in our, our fishing and that David was the, was the best partner for us to do that.